Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at some really awesome augmented reality glasses from a company called Enreal. Now they actually make a few different models, but this is known as the Air. I think it's their newest model. And uh, yeah, at first I was very skeptical about these augmented reality glasses or AR glasses until I got to use them for a while. So I've been testing this with a lot of different devices and basically you're going to connect USB Type-C to a device that does video out of USB Type-C or you can utilize their HDMI adapter and connect it to something like an iPhone. And basically what this is going to do is give you a 201 inch OLED display at 1080p that you can carry around with you. And it looks absolutely amazing. I was really blown away by the brightness and the clarity of these AR glasses. So like I mentioned, at first I was very skeptical about this. I'm a huge fan of VR and I really haven't done much with AR except for, you know, on a phone screen itself. But this definitely changes a lot of things. We've got that 201 inch OLED display at 1080p. We can walk around with it on and we can actually see what's going on around us at the same time. Now they do offer an app called Nebula for Android and it really comes in handy for something like this. You could also mirror the screen if you want to. But using Nebula has a lot of great features built in, and it's basically a fully customizable AR front end. Now, one thing I wish they would add here is a little longer recording limit and to record while we have cameras going so we can see what's going on outside while we do a screen recording. Right now, it's set to 30 seconds, so I was a bit limited. But if you take a look at the glasses here, what we've got going on are two built-in OLED displays right in the top of the lenses there. And in turn, we've got a reflector system with these other lenses giving us up to a 201 inch display while these are on your face. And I can tell you right now that it does look great. Would have been nice to be 4K, but you know, at 1080p with full brightness, this looks absolutely amazing. Obviously, it's a little hard to record these screens, but this will give you an idea of what's going on here. And this doesn't have a built-in battery. It's actually going to be powered by the device you have it plugged into. So if you've got it plugged into your Android device, it's going to send power over that USB Type-C signal. And uh, yeah, I mean, it powers the glasses. They do get a bit warm on the side, but not having a battery built into the glasses themselves definitely keeps the weight down. It also has built-in dual stereo speakers that get the job done. There's not a lot of bass here given the form factor, but they work pretty well for what we have. And over here, we've got our brightness control button. So we've got up and down on the brightness. And we've also got a dedicated power button. Basically, this will turn off the internal displays at any time by clicking it once. Now the glasses do come with a few extra accessories in the box. We've got these extra nose pieces. You've got a small, medium, and large. So it'll basically fit anybody. We've got the blockers for the front, so what you can do with this is snap them right over the front. This does come in really handy, especially when you're flying on a plane. You can just watch your favorite movies right there. You don't have to worry about the augmented reality part of anything. You'll just get that nice big screen. And it also comes with a USB Type-C cable. It's nice and flexible. It does support video. And I'll tell you, when I first took these out, I tried to use one of my own cables. Now, it will work with third-party cables as long as that cable supports a video signal. Just be sure you're using one that does. So like I mentioned, I've mainly been using this with my Android device. I've got a Galaxy S21 here with the Nebula app installed. We can either mirror the screen or we can go into our AR space, which this is really what Nebula is for. And I will tell you that if your device just supports video over USB Type-C or alt mode on an Android phone, all you really need to do is plug this in and you can mirror the screen to the built-in OLED displays in the glasses themselves. And that's what I've been doing with the Steam Deck, the Switch, and the iPhone. But when it comes to Android, using this Nebula app with AR space is actually pretty awesome. So here's a recording that I did. Now, unfortunately, this isn't recording at even 30 FPS for some reason from the app, but it's super smooth. I mean, this is running at 60 FPS while it's on your head and you're looking at everything. Plus, you're going to see everything in the real world beyond all of this that you see on screen right now. Unfortunately, the app only records the AR portion that we have going on here. And to control everything on screen, you're going to use your phone. The pointer that you're seeing right now moving these apps around is actually my Galaxy S21. We've got that built-in touchpad with the app itself. And yeah, it's actually pretty cool. They definitely need to add a few more features here, like 60 FPS recording so we can get a better look at everything. But this will give you an idea of what's going on while you have the glasses on. And remember, the real world is going to be in the background here. We also have that dedicated button on the glasses to go ahead and turn this off completely. 
They do offer a few different AR games that you can download from Google Play or through Nebula itself, and I'm really not too into the AR games, but you know, there's a couple fun ones here and there. You've got a balloon pop, you've got a photo gun and everything like that. The main thing that I've been using this for is heads up notifications while I'm walking around. I've got this on, I've got my phone connected to it. I don't even need to look at my phone screen and media playback from my favorite apps like YouTube or Netflix. One cool application that they have built in right now is this cycling app. You can choose a few different locations and basically if you're on your stationary bike, you can set this up on the glasses and it gives you a nice little path to ride down. It'll also tell you how far you've traveled and calories burned. There's a few different locations that we can choose from, from all over the world, and these are basically pre-recorded AR videos that just allow you to have a little more immersion while you're working out. Going into this, I didn't think the display would look as good as it does, and I know it's hard to come across in a video like this when I'm doing a screen recording. The best thing I can tell you is to try it out for yourself. Now, this is coming to the U.S. very soon. I will leave a few links in the description, and hopefully we get this in a few big box stores set up on demo, so you can go in and experience it for yourself. Now, this is far from VR. That's way more immersive. This is augmented reality, and with VR, I've always suffered from getting really dizzy when I'm moving around. I always have to be stationary with it. But when I have this on, I can walk around, I can go down the street, no problem at all. And recently, me and my wife took a trip. I brought these with me on the plane. I just used it as my media device. There are some blockout shades that you can put on the front just to kind of black everything out. And then you've just got a really nice 201 inch display. You can watch your favorite movies on from your favorite app on your Android device or any other device that supports video over USB type C, or you can opt for their HDMI adapter. Now, unfortunately, this is something you will need for an iPhone, but it also works just as an HDMI adapter. So if you wanted to connect these to, let's say, your PS5 or your Xbox that doesn't support video over USB Type-C, this adapter is where it's at. HDMI input over here, you're going to plug the glasses in with that USB Type-C cable on this side, and it's going to give you that display from whatever you have HDMI plugged into. And this is exactly how I've been connecting it to my Xbox Series S. I've been playing a lot of Forza Horizon 5 with these. And, you know, when it's set up like that, I just can't do any screen recording on the AR side of things. I mean, I really wish I could, but it does look great connected to an Xbox or even a PS5. So yeah, at first I was very skeptical about this, but I think this could come in handy for a lot of people. And you know, down the road, we're going to get thinner, smaller glasses that allow us to do a little more with it, maybe even 4K resolutions. But if you want to get into it right now, I would highly recommend the InReal Air glasses. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you're interested in learning more, I will leave a few links in the description. If you have any questions or you want me to test any kind of devices on these glasses, just let me know in the comments below. But that's it for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.